All right, let's get into the paper review now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's know what's going on on the headlines on the papers this morning. And we have joining us a social commentator and an analyst, Walaoba. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Very yeah. great. Okay. All right, let's begin with the Punch newspaper. We have the first headline here. It says, go home and defend yourselves with stones. Or Tom tells IDPs, that's the governor of uh, Benue yeah, State. Anyway. This is a fallout of uh, the recent uh, headsman attack again in mm. part of the, the state in Gwe West local government. But has it gotten that bad mm. that uh, the people have to really use stones or whatever they have to defend themselves? Well, truth be told, it's gotten so bad that we are in some parts of Nigeria mm. in a near state of anarchy. People feel very defenseless. And we're talking of a situation mm -hmm. that the governor of the state, mm -hmm. who is organically, organically important, constitutionally is supposed to be the chief the security, chief security officer, officer of the state, state. Mm -hmm. but operationally no. is literally important because mm -hmm. all the agencies of coercion mm -hmm. in the state today, in Nigeria today, are all answerable to one man and one chief of state. The That's man the at the center, and um, according to um, Samuel Otom, well, it's the second time or, or more that he's saying, look, you people, you just need to take the, you know, help yourselves out. I'm tired of taking in IDPs. And as a matter of fact, it's becoming even more complicated because people are just running away from their homes because mm. they don't have a sense yeah, of, of uh, security. security. And if David in the Bible could use kill stones Goliath to, <laughs> to kill, uh, you know, to use stones to kill Goliath, you guys might as well try that out. We can only try as much as we could to take, make some fun out of it. Yeah. It's a very sad it's not funny it's at really, all. It's really, really very serious. Very sad story and defines the Nigerian state today mm. as, you know, as in every material particular, a state tilting the end of the pendulum where failing states or failed mm. states are located. Like Nigeria is moving towards the precipice, according to Raoul Farag Beshola, the governor of um, uh, you can Oshun imagine when you are in your country, yeah. in your aboriginal homestead, aboriginal homestead where your ancestors have lived for generations, mm. and because you are not sure that the state to which you have subscribed can, can protect, protect you, you, you have to do a runner. And this seems to be re-echoing what T.Y. Danjuma, Danjuma said too. Across a panoply of, yeah. of sorts of, of, of our territory. Well, right. Let's move on now. Uh, drivers, others protest in Edo after a road crash. Uh, this happened around uh, Siloko Road in uh, Benin. You can see the picture mm -hmm. there. Uh, OAU lecturers won sex for mark allegation against uh, Professor Probed. Well, this issue has been a rampant case within the university uh, setting for so many years, but we thought that uh, these issues have been tackled. Hmm. We are in a state of degeneracy, and except we want to tell ourselves the big lies, yeah. the truth is that across all spheres of life, hmm. values are practically and literally being dumped down. Hmm. Many of us are not shocked because we know it does happen. It's been happening forever. Mm. Nobody ah. has really done anything decisively about it. Well, this one has gone viral mm. now. A student recording her conversation with a professor. Mm. A, a yes, reverend yes. gentleman of one of the Orthodox churches, actually, too. Yeah. Awesome. Ironically. But having said that, I, I was having an intellectual argument with a, a female lawyer mm. up until I slept off of my bed yesterday. Yes. And you know what? Maybe because she's an alumna of IFE, she was actually insinuating mm. that yeah. the lady too should be prosecuted. And I was telling her. On the basis the, of what? On the basis of the fact that if, was she, had a mutual. Passed, if she had passed, if she has caught 50. That, that wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened. And, and, <laughs> and, and, I was, and I told her, you know what? Academic failure should not be in any way, shape, or form 
be drawn on a moral equivalency mm -hmm. to moral and fiduciary failure. Mm. It's almost similar to a case of, you know, people um, who when go out there to are rape. rape. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. You say it's is, because you dressed in a certain yes. way. I could actually <laughs> say the red... The, the red is too attractive. Exactly. Oh, it's very... So, the red has excited my... my <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, it's really not funny. Well, we have I this know, one I, here. I need to, so, so I need to make this point. Yes. And, and I told her that, that the, the reason, or one of the main reasons, mm. why across the world, you have the whistleblower's law. It's not so much because the whistleblower is innocent mm. or totally innocent, mm -hmm. but that at the point of repentance, at that point when Saul, on his way to Damascus, mm. encountered that, yeah. the repentance happened, mm. he became a tool in the hand of the Lord mm. to be used to write exactly. a substantial part of the New Testament. Mm. When somebody who was even privy, because according to her, the girl must have invited the professor, uh, uh, and she had uh, passed, and I said, you know what, uh, if, even if she had done it yeah. or had been doing it, mm. at the point where she felt, you know what, mm. five times is too much mm. for this negotiation, mm -hmm. I give, you know, I'm, then she because becomes the, an know, instrument for society to use as deterrence. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, but will right, this be a deterrent? Yeah, let's just, matter. this one last yeah. one before we leave the punch. Mm. Uh, Abacha Lut, federal government confirms receipts of $322.5 million from Switzerland. Nigeria's now we still have Abacha Lut somewhere. Oh, yes. And, and they keep ends. coming in and they keep coming in and they oh, keep yes. coming in. But ab about time Nigerians felt it. Hmm. We, we get to here when the loots are repatriated but it will it will have been nice mm. if uh okay let's move on uh the nation reports exposed oyegun's hidden agenda on tenure extension party says there is no such plot uh well according to reports it, it's possible that um oyegun could continue to be chairman of the uh, national working committee until the 2019 uh elections that that really might just be the whole agenda at the end of the day because Mr. President seems to have softened and given him some kind of um, leeway. The governors, Very briefly. The governors own the parties. Mm. Because since 1999, we have run ourselves into the cul-de-sac of making parties to be very, very helicopter in their, in their financing and not very autochthonous. You seldom, when I was growing up in the, in the 70s, my mm. mother used to contribute and had a card, a UPN card. Mm. Mm. Every week, every Friday, she yeah. would go for a UPN meeting, and she was just an ordinary trader. Mm -hmm. Contribute, and they would take it like yeah. she was doing a susu. Mm. Do you see that? That's from, not happening anymore. And the mm. only major source where you have money is going to parties now are through the governors, yeah. and they have arrested the parties. And they are in charge now. All right, protests as Buhari arrives in London. Presidency looters uh, behind it. Okay, presidency is saying it's looters that are behind the protests. Uh, people who uh, the tap has been, you know, locked against them. And so the free flow of funds is no longer <laughs> when, the case. When <laughs> I get to hear this, this kind of remark, I say when they were protesting then against good luck, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan as mm. the president of Nigeria for the beneficence of uh, candidate Buhari. It was not the looters that mm. set them up then. It was yeah. just the passion <laughs> and the love you know, to see for their country. country. Mm. Okay, there's some man we, have, mm. we all have love for. We're thankful that he has reached the age of 90 and that is um, Ayo. Adebanjo. Adebanjo. Exactly. Thank you very mm. much. 90. <laughs> this man doesn't look anywhere near 90. He doesn't look he 90 at all. He must have done all. something really right uh, in his between, young days. Between God... He looks like he's 50-something, yeah. And the genes. Yeah. yeah. Some people some, do. Some people do win the lottery. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, between and God and, his one and the genes, <laughs> and he's one of them. And uh, to be honest with you, this is one of them. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> is one of them. This one of could them. be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's on. move on. Daily Sun. Federal government admits receiving $322 million of Bacha loot in December. Mm. The president's aide comments on controversies. There were controversies or some reports earlier that uh, the Minister of Finance mm. had blocked uh, yeah, the payment, <clears throat> the payment of two lawyers that yeah. were hired by the Attorney General. Mm. And all of that, he has, in this, in the other paper, he, she, she came out to refute all of those claims. All right, let's move on now. Uh, ripples over Buhari's second term bid. Fresh knocks, kudos, trail uh, Buhari's, uh, the president's declaration. And government, APC playing politics with security. Governor Wike is saying that. Is that news? Well, it's, 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 as far as they get government. Given the partisan government. divide in the country mm. and given the position, given the side of the partisan divide that Wike finds himself, mm. you know, I wouldn't be disturbed uh, by the remark. But the okay. truth is that there is one incontrovertible fact mm. in the landscape now. Mm. Security is an issue, and security is an issue that may indeed uh, spell the comeuppance of this president in his re-election being, mm. if not properly handled. Yeah, be because, be because yeah. security was one of his uh, uh, major political plans. campaigns. Major, yeah. And if, if, if at this point everywhere there is chaos from cattle rustlers to herdsmen to Boko Haram to kidnappings and all of that and even assassination mm. then it like, tells like, you that... Like uh, the protesters in London, mm. it could be the looters too who are sponsored. Alright, let's move That'd on. All. Yeah. All right, Vanguard is our last paper this morning. Buhari's one-term offer in 2011 no longer applies and that's according to the presidency. People have been saying why is uh, President Buhari going, uh, seeking a second term? After all, he said he wanted to uh, rule for only uh, one term. And Femi Adesino has come out to say, no, that, that was actually, uh, that promise was, was, in, was in 2011. 2011. It had nothing to do with the 2015. Mm. And after 2011, mm -hmm. 2015, he had a genetic re-engineering. Re yes. And after 2015, the three months they were spent in hospital in England uh, last year mm. and some other visitations to the doctor. Mm. And indeed, the speculation that some people are saying that even this 11-day early arrival for Shogun mm. in England mm. uh, has a, uh, a, a panning with the doctor to eat, well, all those ones. Just, really just speculations. And that's not to say that <laughs> anything stops him from going for his medical checkup. Anyway, no, no, I mean, no, we have our lawmakers no. dropping... You know, uh, dropping, dropping. Uh, you, yeah, you, I just came back drop, too. Uh, yeah. I just came back, you know. So, yeah. uh, voila, don't. Uh, <laughs> okay. Life first. Yes. Life first, exactly. Yes. I agree with you. Life mm. first. Life I mean, first. I mean, 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 have made over a hundred million naira from kidnapping, says Hertzman in a do state. That's let's start, from, let's start from the most bizarre yeah. there. Mm -hmm. If you really look at the three, the thing you've lumped together for me, <laughs> none of them is edifying. None. None at all. None at all, yeah. But the last one actually typifies or uh, is quite indicative of how we seem to to be in a state of lawlessness mm. if an ordinary mm. citizen of nigeria a headsman for that matter could because he's holding you know AK any and all instrument of coercion coercion mm. could extol and extort you know from the nigerian public mm. more than a million Naira. In yes. any currency, that's a lot of money. It's, it's of amazing. Course. And yet, it took that while before it tells you the same yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It tells you how things have degenerated. All right, Mr. and Mrs. is very interesting this morning. Uh, the wife, shall, the wife is that. happy that the husband's brother <laughs> is back from the U.S. <laughs> they had been quarreling. And she says, oh, now that your brother is back, can mm. we just make up? Can you How know? much dollars did he bring back? <laughs> and the husband says, he didn't come with dollars this time. Uh -oh. And the quarrel continues. Oh, all right. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. is always her favorite part. All right. Uh, well, but thank you very much.